you are probably familiar with the basic states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas that fills everyday life on Earth. But turns out they aren't the whole of the universe. Scientists have discovered dozens of more exotic states of matter in the past. Often bearing mystical names such as superfluids, Bose-Einstein condensates, and neutron degenerate matter. And now, a new exotic phase of matter was created with the help of a quantum computer with just as mystical name, the time crystal. Here's what's intriguing about the time crystal. It is governed by completely different physical laws compared to other known phases of matter. Water, gas, and ice are always in thermal equilibrium which means that their atoms have settled into the state with the lowest energy and their properties won't change with time. The time crystal, on the other hand, is the first out of equilibrium phase. It has order and perfect stability, despite being in a constantly evolving state. These special time crystals were first theorized in 2012 by physicist and mathematician Frank Wilczek who suggested crystal's structural repetition could exist in the fourth dimension, as well as it did in the third. It wasn't until 2016 that the first blueprint for how to make these a possibility really surfaced. That year, a group of physicists helped to clarify Wilkesek's idea, taking it from something entirely fictional to a real-world possibility. The team defined the kind of circumstances under which a time crystal could occur, a quantum system without thermal equilibrium, and one which cannot be described by any temperature, since temperatures naturally suggest equilibrium. Fast forward to today. Using Google's quantum computer, a few researchers were finally able to create a time crystal that they think firmly establishes time crystals in the world of physics. But how exactly were they able to create it? What defines any crystal, such as a diamond or an emerald, is that the crystal's atoms are arranged in repeating patterns in space. We know from physics that there are three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, as well as a fourth dimension, time. So physicists wondered if a crystal's atoms could be arranged in repeating patterns in the fourth dimension, time. In practice, that works something like this. You create a crystal whose atoms start in one state. If you blast that crystal with a laser, those atoms might flip into another state, and then flip back, and then flip again, and so forth all without actually absorbing any energy from the laser. If you step back, what you've just created is a state of matter that's perpetually in motion, indefinitely, without taking in any energy. A time crystal is an object whose parts move in a regular, repeating cycle, sustaining this constant change without burning any energy with the ability to forever cycle between two states, without ever losing energy, time crystals dodge. One of the most important laws of physics, the second law of thermodynamics. According to the second law of thermodynamics, the disorder of an isolated system must always increase. To explain how deeply unusual this behavior is, let's try to picture a sealed box, filled with coins before being shaken a million times. As the coins ricochet from, and bounce around each other, they become more and more chaotic. Exploring all of the sorts of configurations that they can explore until the shaking stops and the box is open to reveal the coins in a random configuration, with roughly half of the coins facing up and half facing down. We can expect to see this random, half up, half down endpoint regardless of the way we first arranged the coins in the box. Inside the box of Google's quantum computer Sycamore, we can view the quantum processor's qubits, much like we would our coins. In the same way that the coins can be either heads or tails, qubits can be either a 1 or a 0, the two possible positions in a two-state system, or a weird mix of the probabilities of both states called a superposition. Google's qubits consist of superconducting aluminum strips. Each has two possible energy states, which can be programmed to represent spins, pointing up or down. Perhaps the main advantage of the Google's quantum machine over its competitors is its ability to tune the strengths of interactions between its qubits. This tunability is key to why the system could become a time crystal. The programmers could randomize the qubits' interaction strengths, and this randomness created destructive interference between them 
that allowed the row of spins to achieve many body localization. The researchers gave the spins arbitrary initial configurations, such as up, down, down, up, and so on. Then, they pumped the system with microwave lasers, flipping spins up and down, and vice versa. By running tens of thousands of demos for each initial configuration, and measuring the states of the qubits after different amounts of time, the researchers could observe that the system of spins was flipping back and forth between too many body localized states. The researchers found that the spins never absorbed or dissipated net energy from the microwave laser, leaving the disorder of the system unchanged. These unusual time crystals lasted for roughly 100 seconds. They remained stable, resisting any dissolution into randomness despite existing in a constant state of flux. The existence of this weird, new matter phase and the entirely new realm of physical behaviors it reveals is incredibly exciting, especially as time crystals were only first predicted to exist just nine years ago. Google's experiment is likely to remain the best way to study time crystals for the foreseeable future. The newly discovered crystals might help make quantum computers become more robust. Engineers have struggled for years to create something that could serve as memory in quantum computers, some equivalent to the silicon that underpins traditional computers. Time crystals, physicists think, could serve that purpose. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Coding Tech channel and click on the notification bell. Enjoy the rest of your day.